Hey Valparaiso, I'm Storm Shield meteorologist Rachel Dunzing here with a quick look at your weather and the rain that we experienced this morning has since moved out of the area and now that it has moved out it left behind a lot of sunny skies and warm temperatures as well but unfortunately it's a little bit short-lived and by the time we head into Monday we could see some more rain coming into our area. Now we're going to start out looking at this rain. This is the rain that has moved out this morning and it left behind a lot of clear skies as I mentioned before and that's something that we're going to be experiencing throughout the rest of the day today and as we head into your Saturday. So get outside and enjoy it. It's going to be nice and warm and there's not going to be a cloud in the sky. So definitely take advantage of that while you can. And in the way of temperatures, I'm sure we're going to be on a slight warm up this morning around 10 a.m. 49 degrees here in Valparaiso and in Davenport 41 just up to our north in Green Bay. You see down to our south 56 in St. Louis and we are going to continue to warm up just a little bit throughout the day. Davenport at 63 degrees down to our south. St. Louis is at 66 while here in Valparaiso around 54 degrees. A lot of that is because we're going to be experiencing north winds. It's going to be coming off the leg and keeping us a little bit cooler but still I have no complaints with 50 degree temperatures and sunny skies and hopefully you don't either. We're going to cool down once again overnight into those mid 30s and then we're going to continue to warm back up into that Saturday. Look at all these warm temperatures out to our west. 80 degrees in Omaha, 74 in Sioux Falls and 72 in North Platte. The good news is some of those will be making their way towards us by the time we head into uh, Easter Sunday. But once again by tomorrow, 65 degree temperatures in the mid 60s throughout the day tomorrow with a lot of sunny skies shaping up to be an absolutely beautiful Saturday for you. Our almanac information for today, our forecasted high will be around 55 degrees and with that overnight low being around 33. So we are once again below average in the way of the high and low temperatures. But if you want to see the difference one year makes, look at these record temperatures. 88 degrees is the record high temperature set back in 2002. But look at the record low, 27 degrees set back in 2001. What a difference a year can make, that is for sure. As I mentioned before today, the high temperature of 55 degrees. We're going to start out with some partly cloudy conditions, but the good news is, like I keep saying, those clouds are going to be on the decrease, and we're going to end up with a lot of sunny skies. Those winds coming out of the north at 10 miles per hour, but they're actually going to start shifting a little bit as we head to the overnight hours from the north to the northeast, and they're going to calm down a little bit, around 5 miles per hour. Mostly clear conditions get outside and enjoy the beautiful stars outside. Unfortunately, we'll be a bit chilly hovering around that freezing mark at 33 degrees for that overnight low. But tomorrow, once again, warming up 65 degrees, mostly sunny conditions, and those winds will actually be shifting to coming from the south at around 10 miles per hour. And that is going to continue to warm us up as we head into your Sunday. Look at that Easter Sunday, near 70 degrees. Some areas could be experiencing temperatures in the low 60s, but I know I have no complaints. Whether it is 68, 69 degrees or 70, I will take it while I can. But unfortunately, we're going to have some more rain moving back in, especially as we head into Monday. Expect to experience some rain throughout the day on Monday, 64 degrees. And then look at that cooling down once again on Tuesday, 56. But we're on a little bit more of a slight warming trend by the time we head into Wednesday, 58 degrees for your high temperature. And the good news is by the time we head into Thursday and the end of next week, looks like we are going to be experiencing yet another warm up. That was it for your Storm Shield uh, weather update. I'm meteorologist Rachel Dunzing. Have a great day and happy Easter.